Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In previous video, we have talked about the tile map systems, player movement, camera controller, single the patterns, since transition. If you want to learn the relative videos, you can click my channel and find more. If you want to start from this tutorial, I also have uploaded the current process to my Google Drive. You can learn from these videos, all videos can independent to learn. Also, all resources can be downloaded from my GitHub. I have shown all links below. Today, we will continue the scenes transition and add the classical visual effects, fade in and fade out. This will make your UI canvas look smoothly and epic. Okay, let's first review our 2D project. Now, we have dragged the exist game object as a prefab, and the entrance game object is the child of this prefab. The main logic in this script is, when the player leaves one scene, the exist area will give one password to our player. In other words, our player will receive one password from exist area. And then, when we enter to another scene, at the beginning of this time, we will make one if statement, whether our player password is equal to the scene's entrance password. If they are the same type and the same value, okay, you are allowed to enter this scene and appear to the right position. You are legal. If not, sorry, the console window will run in you. For our tail map, I have created one tail palette and all tail assets has generated inside the tails folder. For our player, we have rich body and collider component. Also, we have used single pattern in the player controller script. The single pattern is a way to ensure a class has only a single global access instance available at all times. Rigid body component is responsible for rigid body dot velocity in our script. We can change the box collider size. Camera controller can follow target with smoothly move. Also, our camera will stop moving when the player moves to the edges of the map. So great. Also, we can choose the scene machine to achieve this effect as well. Okay, we have talked about too much about the previous topic. Today, we want our player leave from here. We hope to have one fading effect. And then, when we move to another scene at the beginning of these scenes, it start a fade out effect. So first, let's create one UI image. The Unity will automatically create the UI canvas and the event system to us. Choose to the scale with screen size and change the resolution to 1920 plus 1080. Position and the size can be specified according to the pixel of a specified reference resolution. We hold Alt and Shift to make the image stretch all of the UI cameras, and then change the image color to black. We want to have the fading and fade out effect. We can easily to drag the alpha slider to change its value. Alpha channel determines the transparency of this image. So we can create one new C-sharp script called Scene Fader. Let's change the alpha channel back to zero. Actually, that doesn't matter because later we will use the script to control the alpha value. Because we want to get the UI image, we will use Unity Engine.UI namespace. If you didn't write this namespace, the image type will show some errors on your script editor. So type public images, black image. Drag our script to the UI canvas. Now we want to fade in effect. Think about it. We want to call the fade in effect when we touch to the exit box collider area. After that, we want our Unity has one fade in effect. We want things transition work correct. We don't want all events happen at the same frame because if it happens at the same time, fade in effect will disappear and only move to the second scene. So we need to use enumerator. Don't worry about the right lines because we did not input the yield statements, which returns the code execution out of the function. Let's create one public float variables called alpha. This variable is used to control the transparency of our image. Making fade in effect, our color should from black to white. Alpha at the first time should be one. We want our alpha variables from the one to zero. We use while loop. While loop is a control flow statement that allows code to be executed repeatedly based on the given condition. The while loop can be thought of as a repeating if statement. 
We start the keyword while and then in parameter we have unconditional. The content of the loop will continue repeat as long as the condition evaluate to evaluate to true. The code in braces represents the body of the loop. This loop will repeat these steps forever. We want the alpha decrease each frame and then assign this alpha to our image. We can write image.color equals to new color 0, 0, 0 because this is the black color. The last parameter is the alpha value. So how often should our image color alpha channels change? For example, if we type 1, which means each second our alpha value will execute these functions. If you want to continuously change the alpha channel, we can write wait for 0 seconds or write yield return none. Like other functions, we have to call this function in some places. We use star coroutine. In parentheses, we can use the function name, string type, or call enumerate name with brackets. Ok, let's see the effects. Cool, we have complete fade in effect. If you feel the camera is not in the right position, you can change the camera position as well. Ok, here is the coding challenge. We have complete the fade in effect. Try to use the sense step and complete fade out effect. Try to understand the while loop and the enumerate function. Finally, after fade out, make one thing's transition. Pause the video and try it. Ok, let's finish it. We set the alpha to 0 because at that time, alpha should change from the black to transparent. Each frame we want our alpha channel increase. Also, don't forget to call this function. We create one public function and call the fade out function. We want after fade out effect, we can transit to another scene. We want to call this public function in each exit area. So we have to customize one string type parameter to represent our scene's name. Only in here we can move to different scenes in different area with only one script. In fade out, don't forget to create one string type parameter. So inside our fade to function, we also need one parameter. We can use these methods in other script because we have to set to the public function. So click the exit script, command our previous code here. We can use the things fader script by using find object of type and give the class name. And then we can use the public function from the things fader script. Don't forget the parameter in brackets. We have set the string type variables before, so we can directly use it. OK, back to Unity and check all settings, and then press the play button. Hmm, we found some weird effects. Let's see. We found inside the while loop we set to true. So the while well loop will repeat forever, but we want our alpha channel repeat until it complete our condition. For fade in, we want our alpha decrease until the alpha channel close to zero, and then stop it. Also, for fade out effect, we want the alpha value increase to one and stop the execution again, and then run this game. We found another error. When we enter the second scene, our canvas did not fade out effect. The error appears on here. The main reason is that our second scene, our exit script, did not catch the scene's fader script. Because in the second scene, there is no any canvas inside this scene, which means there is no scene's fader script in the second scene. So we can drag our first scene, the UI canvas, as a prefab and then back to the scenes 2 and drag the canvas prefab to our second scene and try again
cool. Also, you can make the UI canvas as a single node pattern also works. Finally, let's come on something on this tutorial. Focus on the while loop condition. If you want to build one condition while loop, you can set any condition inside the parentheses. If you want to execute your function, type wait for seconds, zero, or yield returns no. If you want to execute each certain seconds, you can directly type certain seconds inside the parentheses as well. Also, by the way, the range of the color RGBA it's from the 0 to 1. So it's not from the 0 to 256 in this case. All right, this is the end of this video. We have used several videos to talk about the basic 2D player movement, tile map, camera controller, one single pattern, since transition and fade in and fade out effect. Hope these videos can help you a lot or provide another method to help your project. For more videos, you can go to my channel, I'm so appreciate. Alright, this is the end of this video. If you like it, hope smash the likes and subscribe button. Each clicks will encourage me a lot. See you in the next time.